during the mean whilst. No, no, no. no, no. Hello, it's uh, it's Dexter and me with a quick uh, little um, video uh, as I'm exploring uh, the XT5 a little bit deeper. Now, what one thing the T5 has over the T4, and I don't know why because both have IBIS, is the um, pixel shift uh, shooting option. Uh, it's on the T5. It was on my GFX 100 when I had that, and I, no, it wasn't on the 50 because I didn't have IBIS. Uh, but it, it's not on the T4. But anyway, uh, what this pixel shift uh, shooting mode does is that it takes 20 images and then shifts the uh, sensor a little bit in between each one uh, to create uh, a much higher resolution image. Now, how useful this is in the real world is debatable. Um, I had four goes um, with my camera on my tripod shooting a static object. And the first three goes uh, failed, and there was only the fourth one that rendered um, a, a correctly built uh, file. Anyway, if you are interested in doing this, there's uh, a couple of things you need to do first. You have to go onto uh, Fujifilm's uh, website and download their uh, piece of software uh, that enables you to um, combine these images because it doesn't do it in camera. Uh, and like I think. Uh, perhaps Olympus and maybe Panasonic cameras, they do it in camera, but uh, the Fuji system does not. Um, so you need to download that and I'll put a little screenshot up you know, of uh, exactly where you need to go to get that. Uh, and then um, once, you're, once, once, once you're ready to go, uh, set your camera up, uh, really, really tighten it down on a very secure tripod. And it's only going to work with static, uh, static objects. This so uh, I just shot uh, quite a detailed still life scene uh, in my little uh, room here uh, to compare. So I shot uh, obviously I shot a control image, which is a standard um, forty megapixel shot, and then I did the uh, the pixel shift one. Uh, um, I think it's probably best to uh, go full manual everything so nothing changes like in between shots. Not that I think anything would, to be honest, but um, uh, if, especially if you are in like a controlled environment. Um, yeah, so it was manual focus, manual exposure, manual everything. Uh, I used a 10 second timer on uh, on the camera to make sure there's absolutely no, uh, absolutely no camera shake. And, uh, and set two, yeah, so... Um, uh, what I will do now is I'll pop up another little screen uh, recording of the steps I took um, to activate uh, the pixel uh, pixel shift shooting mode. And uh, one thing you got to remember to do is uh, switch it off after. Because if you don't, <laughs> you are going to be wondering why your camera is taking 20 images when you just press the, the shutter one. So yeah, so remember to turn it off afterwards. Um, once you've shot them all, you need to um, import them into uh, Fuji software. Uh, and then it's it's quite intuitive. You, you just run, I think it's like uh, run job or whatever. It, it'll be on screen now. And uh, and it builds a, uh, a DNG file. Now it's quite a large file. I wrote, I wrote the actual uh, dimensions down. It's a 612 megabyte DNG file. So it's quite a hefty beast. And it's uh, 15,456 by 10,304 megapixels. So that's a 159.258 <laughs> uh, megapixel file. Right, looking at the images side by side, uh, again, you, you're looking at this on like a compressed YouTube video. Uh, there, is, there is slightly more detail to be had, uh, as you would imagine, in the larger file, but it's not. You know, it, it it's not it's not streets ahead of the um the forty megapixel file to be honest. I mean, how much resolution do you really, really need? I mean, I guess if you're doing uh hypercritical, uh engineering or archive work, uh, they were coming quite handy. But then you probably, if you're shooting at that level, you're probably not going to be using an XT four. You're probably going to be using something like a Phase one with you know one hundred and fifty megapixels anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, it's usefulness, uh, debatable. Is it nice to have? Absolutely. Will I ever use it again? Uh, probably not. It, but if, if you get like a, a really dark, dull winter's day when I got nothing better to do, I might adapt the um, uh, the micro nickel onto it uh, and get like a, a really close in 
uh, hyper detailed shot and if i do that i'll uh, i'll let you know and I'll, I'll post it up on my instagram or something anyway that is it for this uh, short little delve into uh, the xt4s xt5s uh, inner workings and what it can do uh, if i come across anything uh, interesting i will uh, anything else interesting I'll let you know. Uh, and also, if there's anything you want to know about the camera, you know, uh, pop me a question uh, in either in the comments or, you know, DM me on Instagram or whatever. And uh, I will endeavour to get back to you. Right. That's it. Stay safe. Stay well. Look after yourselves, your loved ones, your pets. And look after, look after all those pixels. OK. And they will look after you. All right. Be nice, everybody. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.